So now that we know how to make a connection between the HTML code and the PY code, the Python code, we want to get the inputs here from here and send them to, to the uh, PY in order to make that operation. But we got an error and the reason why we got this error is because as I told you earlier, we did not complete that function yet. And the reason actually for this error is because here we told that this form, we told that we told it to handle or, or to make a post request. But this function doesn't know that. Python doesn't know that this function should handle post requests. Therefore, it did uh, it did create it, it did send us this uh, error method not allowed. So we need to tell Python, hey Python, we need, we want this function to handle post requests. Therefore, he, here you you need to add comma and then you need to tell Python methods and then equals to and then in an ar in an array you need to say post. Meaning that this this just this small piece of code is gonna tell Python, hey Python, this function should handle post requests. And now if you save, let me save and go back to my project and uh, to go back to my browser and refresh and then let me go to the forward slash simple and then hit enter and now if I click on calculate without even filling out this form guess what you are gonna get you are gonna get here this string calculate function so it worked and there is no error anymore because we now told Python to handle a post request using this function. So now that, that the error is gone, what we want to do is that we want to get the inputs from the HTML code and send them to the to the uh, index.py. Uh, How can we do that? Well, to do that, we need here to import a function called request. Request singular, not plural. plural and it, it belongs to Flask. So now that we have this request, what we want to do here is that we want here to use this request and then we use we call a function called form and then this form takes um, uh, you can use this form to get any field any input you are interested in so obviously we are interested in three uh, inputs we are interested in the input uh, in the first number and in the operation and in the second number so here in the input in the index.py we need here to say uh, we want the first number, number, and as you can see, this must match, must match the name here in the HTML code. It must be named first number, and we also need operation and the second number. So here, I'm gonna say I'm gonna store the first, uh, the first uh, value here in a variable called first number, first underscore number which is going to be equal to request.form first number and then we want to get the operation operation and I'm going to store it in a variable called operation so operation is going to be equal to request.form and then I want to get the operation and finally I need to get the second second number and then it's going to be equal to again request.form and then second number, second number. And again, these uh, keys, first number, operation, and second number, must match the ones here in the HTML code. It must match the first number, the operation, and the second number, respectively. And now let me save everything and let me return one of these. So for example, let me here return the operation. For example, let me return the operation. Now if you save everything and uh, head on over to the browser and let me go back to this simple URL and hit enter and let me zoom out first and then let me here select an operation for example let me select plus and let me click on calculate uh, it's gonna return this plus and if you go back and then if you select the minus and then click on calculate it's gonna get that minus and if you select the uh, multiply and click on calculate it's gonna return this uh, multiply and if you do the same with the if you t if you return the first number instead let me return the first number and let me save and let me go back to the simple and hit enter and let me here pass a number for example a uh, five and now if you if you click on calculate guess what we are gonna get here we are gonna get here five if you pass let me pass another number just to show to make uh, to show you that it works let me pass 90, 90, and then calculate. 
it's going to get that 90. So now we know how to pass values from the HTML code to the PY code.